sassy heel and today i'm going to be doing a diy lps kawaii bed move okay so first we're going to need like a arm wire or a like thing for against the wall for your lps bedroom like what i have next we're going to need a plain wall like this but notice how it's bumpy well i am going to we i'm going to put scrap paper on it I mean scrapbook and paper on it as in glitter to make it look better and more kawaii. Don't go because I didn't have enough of the same green. To put tape on the back of these and pour them against the wall. Also, if your parents don't allow you to use tape, as in Scott's tape, then use the fun tack, I think it's called, which is usually blue and very sticky. Tape the end of this like this with it folded what i do is do one corner and do one in the middle and do the other corners okay that's more going to have to tape it to war war and so next i'm going to put the dark or green this one in the middle. Okay, so this is how it came out, and I think it looks gorgeous. Okay, so next we're going to put a bed right here in the middle, because I usually have my bed in the middle. Well, mostly when I was little. Okay, so I got this flower bed that I got from Savers, which is a thrift store in my town, and I love it because it is kawaii because of the colors. Kawaii colors are mostly pastels, and this is what it is. And so I'm just going to put this LPS. Well, actually, it's a door bed, but I'm using it as an LPS bed. I'm going to put this LPS full bed right in the middle. Or maybe it, yes, right here in the middle. Okay, so next step, I'm going to put a lamp and a drawer or I think it's also called an armoire next to my bed on this left side. Okay, so I got this light blue drawer unit at Target and it's a Caillou Critters drawer unit. It's actually meant for a doctor's, actually a male, male clinic place it but i use it as a bedroom set i mean bedroom accessory and so i think it's perfect for something like this for littlest pets or pets and for brat stores well not so much brat stores but for this and for smaller doors and for Caillou Quiddles. And I'm just going to put this drawer unit right here so that it looks good. And next I'm going to add the lamp. I'm going to put the lamp right there. This lamp I found is a Sopkins lamp. 
it is part of a Sopkin set. Sopkins are related to littlest pet shop, except they are in animals, they are objects. And so next, I'm just going to take two littlest pet shop stuff bears and one Fistle Price stuff bunny and put them on top of my dresser for my littlest pet shop. And so I think that looks really cute. Okay, so next step, I'm going to make the closet door. Okay, so we're going to need at least three pieces of paper to start out with. And it has to be pastel colors. And if you don't have it, then you have to paint it or color it somehow. And so I'm using light blue. And so first I'm just going to take two pieces of it and fold one piece of light. This making it a square. I mean making it kind of like origami. One piece is folded in the middle and I mean first I take the right piece, I mean left piece and then the right piece and fold them in the middle and we're going to need to put this piece on the bottom like this so that it makes it look like more of a faucet and for the other piece I'm going to cut half it out as in just a rectangle or a square and just put a a p a, a white self on it yes a self on top of the closet and so I'm just going to take the, the crease and fold it down like this. The best way to do it is do it like this. My suggestion is to do it with two hands because it's easier. But I'm doing it with one hand because I have the video camera in my right hand. And so I'm just going to cut half of it off so that it would be perfect for an LPS closet. This piece of paper is letter size and only it, it would look better if the closet was wide as the, for this type of piece of paper but I would rather it to be a normal size closet. I mean, I think most people have this type of closet. Okay, so next step, I'm going to make a shelf for the top of my closet. Okay, so next step, I'm going to use a 12 inch ruler to measure out what I'm going to I'm going to measure out my closet door to figure out what kind, how big the shelf on top should be. Okay, so it's going to be five and a half inches about, so I'm going to make it the same length. Next, I'm going to take this ruler and I'm going to line it up with the paper and I'm going to do five and a half inches. And I'm going for, actually it would be best if I just did five and less than five and a half inches first because my closet 
for my LPS is less than five and a half inches. Now I'm going to cut this out with the scissor again. Okay, so next I'm going to take this little rectangle strip and I'm going to put it inside of my closet door on top of where this line is using Scott's tape. And so I'm going to put one on top, one on the bottom, lay in straight down like here and straight up like here. Okay, so this is how it came out and I think it came out really cool looking. Okay, so next step, I'm going to make the closet for using this ruler right here and also this scissor again. Okay, so first I'm going to cut out the height, which is three inches for the closet. Okay, next we're going to have to use the ruler again and measure it by, I think it was, yes, it was five and a half inches my closet door. For me, I'm going to use the roller going forward as in this way because it's easier for me to measure and to cut this way. I mean to draw a line through the middle and the closet door I mean is five and a half inches. So now I'm going to put a line through the five and a half inch spot. Next, I'm going to cut it out using the same scissors. Oh, and I forgot to mention, I'm always going to use the these kind of scissors for this kind of project. Okay, so it is cut out now so i'm going to put it on the bottom of this closet door okay so the next step i'm going to take the bottom piece for the for this closet right here for my lps and tape it on to the bottom we're going to want or need to put the bottom piece on the closet door as in in the as in on yes on the floor and I don't know how else to describe it and we're going to have to trim the edges a little and we're also going to warm tape on the sides inside Okay, so what I mean by trimming the edges of this closet, I mean it by making, I mean by putting the closet on this piece of paper and trimming it using this pencil or, I mean a pencil or a pen and use and put in a line where the spot is at the end and i already did it okay so next i'm going to use scissors to cut this out once we we'll cut it out we're going to want to tape it in the inside so that it won't look bad on the outside it will you won't be able to see it if the doors are closed but you will kind of not really so see it if it's inside i mean inside okay so i finished with the bottom piece now i just need to make the doors next i'm going to make the doors one and a half inches width and it's going to be five and a half inches height wise so again i'm going to take the ruler and put it on the end 
or near the left side of my piece of paper and I'm going to mark two and I mean one and a half inches with my pencil on each side. Next we're going to do the same thing basically but we're going to do it one ways. I ascend the height this time of the closet which is five and a half inches well almost five and a half inches next we're going to just cut it out